All right, here five things that are going to get your day started. Police in Rockland are looking for some help finding information about a stabbing there. They say it happened about 1030 Wednesday night at the Maritime Farms gas station on Main Street. The victim was flown to a hospital in Portland. Officials say he is expected to be OK. If you have any information about this, maybe you're looking for this white car that the police are looking for, please give them a call with any information you might have. And some people staying at a homeless encampment in Bangor will be asked to leave today. City leaders announced plans to clear the site behind Hope House earlier this week. They say outreach workers have tried to connect people to services, but many say they aren't interested. People who have engaged with workers won't be asked to leave. Anyone who's asked to leave but doesn't could be charged with criminal trespassing. More than 40 local and national organizations are launching a campaign endorsing a bill from Representative Shelley Pingree. If approved, people applying for asylum would be able to start working within 30 days instead of the right now 180 days. The campaign called Let Asylum Seekers Work calls on Congress to pass the bill, especially as many businesses struggle with staffing. Bowdoin College graduate and Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gerskovich is expected to be honored in Maine later today. Staff at Colby College are planning to award him with the Lovejoy Award for Courage in Journalism. Gerskovich has been in a Russian prison since March where he faces spying charges. His parents are planning to accept the Lovejoy Award on his behalf. 207 will remain Maine's only area code for longer than we even thought. The Maine Public Utilities Commission worked with some phone service providers to free up some of the unused numbers. At first, it looked like Maine would run out of 207 area codes by the year 2029. Now the state will not need a second area code until maybe 2032. Staff with the PUC say they are planning to take steps to extend the life of 207. Beyond that, it is an odd sense of pride that Mainers have to have just that uh, yeah. one area code. Only a few states out there that have just one, and Maine is one of them. So yeah. that's pretty good. Odd sense of pride is the perfect way to put it. Yeah, you know, but <laughs> yeah. It's, it's something that we, we do care deeply about. Yeah. And so I'm glad that we get to keep it going. So. Agreed.